telling you, at times like this, when you're facing down facing, I kind of wish I was back in college. <laughs> Speaking of college, uh, let me have a show of hands. Anybody out there an FBI agent? Because if you are, feel free to come close. If you're wearing wires and taping me, I want you to hear what I have to say. And I want to save you. I want to save you some of the trouble and save some taxpayer dollars. I recently received the notice from your office of registrar here at Northwestern that the prosecutors and the federal government have just resubpoenaed my college records when I went here at Northwestern. Now that was 30 years ago. They subpoenaed all the financial records. They subpoenaed, evidently, uh, my classroom participation, my grades, presum presumably my essays, if they still exist, and all the tests that I took. And if the federal prosecutors want those records, feel free to do it. And if they look at my grades in law school and they see what those grades were, they'll see. I obviously never cheated on the exam. <laughs> I know what it's like to get my college records subpoenaed by the federal government, by prosecutors. And I know there are some of the students here on this campus at the Medill Institute Innocence Project, the Medill Innocence Project, that have been working to help those who have been wrongfully uh, convicted of crimes get their innocence through DNA and other evidence. And I want to commend those young students for all the great work that they're doing. And I can't help but draw a parallel between them and me, because it's been pointed out to me pointed out to me that the Cook County State's Attorney has subpoenaed the records of those kids who are out there trying to do what they think is right to actually find the truth. It's just on behalf of the students for the Innocence Project, uh, of the Innocence Project, some of whom are, well, all of them were Medill students, some of them were Medill students. They, um, they're trying to right a wrongful conviction, and they're working very hard to do that. And I think they might take on bridge at being put in the same situation and, and saying that their situation is analogous to yours because they're right. with, all due, with all due respect, I mean, while they are in fact looking for transcripts apparently from both of you, this is the first I've heard that the um, prosecution cares about your performance here at Northwestern, but I'll take your word for that. Um, but these students are, are not being accused of any crime um, and they don't stand indicted, so I don't think this is <laughs> were subpoenaed like mine, that's all. Okay. They're the college records. Okay. Thank you. Right. Um, <laughs> having gotten that out of the way. Um, okay.